I have a DeWalt um, edger. It's a gas edger. And I have had it about a year and a half or so. I needed to change the blade on the edger. They get worn down over time. I could not get the nut off to get the, to put a new blade on. So I, and I understand they are reverse threaded, uh, like anything that spins is reverse threaded, but it would be impossible. I, no way you could get it off. I even put liquid wrench on there thinking maybe it got a little rusted. No, it's, it, it wouldn't come off. So I did a little research and I found other people have had this similar problem. And so I called DeWalt, the, cu- the main customer service number, and they, I must have waited, I don't know, 45 minutes or so to finally talk to somebody. They gave me a number and they said, call this number in the morning because we're not the ones you need to talk to. You need to talk to the gas division or whatever it was. And I was supposed to call at 8 a.m. So I did what I was told. I called at 8 a.m. And they told me, in in essence, no, we can't help you. You need to call another number because this is not the right one. I was getting the runaround. And so I was willing to give it one more try. I called the number. And after one hour on hold, waiting, you know, listening to that uh, elevator music that makes you go crazy, um, I had things I had to do. I couldn't sit and and wait on the phone all day. And so after almost two total hours, cumulatively, I, I couldn't do anymore. DeWalt has not, DeWalt will not help me. And if they expect people in my mind, if they expect people to wait for five and seven and eight hours online waiting for an answer, that's way too much. Um, so I'm kind of stuck. I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to just pay for it out of pocket to get it fixed so I can do work because the blade is way too small. It's almost doesn't work. Or, uh, my other thought is, you know, forget about DeWalt and I'll just go ahead and buy uh, a different brand. Echo, I think is a decent option. I've ha- I have an echo trimmer. Um, so I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed to put it mildly that, DeWalt will not follow through on what it's supposed to do. And from my research, it seems like this is, you know, par for the course with DeWalt. They make a good product, but they, when something goes wrong, they won't do anything about it. Um, I would like DeWalt to fix it as they are supposed to do. Um, I, I have, through my own efforts, I have identified the local place that does DeWalt uh, warranty. Uh, repairs. But of course, until there is a connection with DeWalt, DeWalt won't pay for the repairs. So I need DeWalt to contact me, to contact them, whatever mechanism they use to fix what I have, you know, for them to fulfill their responsibilities.